Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's huge. Mm. The lovely gentleman on the table beside us just ooh, offered to buy us some drink. We're not really sure what kind of a drink it is, but it may be like a lemon iced tea or maybe something like that. It's like a big fried dumpling. Oh, look mm. at that. Oh my god. Oh wow, mm. look at that. Wow. Get next level duck. We asked our local contacts what would be the best place to try typical Nanjing food. And this place came warmly recommended. It's called Nanjing Impressions. And we just made it in. Shishi. Wow, this place is crazy busy. We literally had to wait like. We had to wait about 30 minutes for our number to be called. But now we're very, very excited. Oh, okay, okay. Shishi. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Amazing. So, Nanjing, that by Dang, translates to Nanjing Impressions. This is supposedly the place to experience local Nanjing food, especially if you're a newbie, like we are, to the city of Nanjing. So let's try some typical Nanjing food. Look how extensive the menu is. Both sides too. It's massive. Oh my god, it's gonna be a while. We're gonna have to try and look through this menu. The table is select, not large enough. Select the right things to try. Wow. Yeah, the table is not big enough for the menu. Oh god. <laughs> oh, they have some English uh, names though, so at least we know what we're ordering. They do have English translation, that's Apparently, good. Apparently this is the place for the salted Nanjing duck. Shishi. Yeah, we have to try some Nanjing duck as well. Let's see how the tea is. Wow, it's nice and hot. Good hot tea. Oh, that's delicious. Uh, which dish is recommended? Uh, this one? That's the Jin Ling roast duck. Sounds really good. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Those are the pot sticking dumplings. They look really, really good. They're made from duck as well. Okay, for two people. And also the duck as well. I don't know if Will she wrote that down. Huh? He's writing down two things, so I think we have the duck. And okay, the... sweet. Okay. Uh, what else? I don't know mm. if we need much, that much uh, else. Me, me thin? Rice? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> And then also obviously something to drink too. Do you want stir fried sausage with shredded? This one? Yeah. Okay, this one. Okay. <laughs> also, can we take a minute to appreciate how beautiful this restaurant actually looks with all of the lanterns and the beautiful decoration everywhere. Um, this is actually located like in the middle of a very modern looking mall. So I wasn't expecting it to look this nice. Uh, one second, I think they, she's trying to say something. <laughs> Can soda be chilled? Yes, shit. She's asking if we want it to be cold or warm. Oh, yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. Who wants to drink warm soda? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so the first parts of our order already came out. We have our beautiful dumplings here. And we also have the duck. Now we're still waiting for, I believe, a pork sausage and the rice. But nothing will ever stop me from eating boiling hot dumplings way too early. So I'm gonna have <laughs> a boiling hot dumpling. I know it's a little bit stupid. These are the pot sticker dumplings. So we've had these when we were in Qingdao, but I believe they're actually native to Jiangsu, if I'm not wrong. Oh, I don't I could know. be wrong. Are those the dumplings that you have to like bite and then drink the soup out I of I think so. First? I'm not sure. Or Usually I try and see what the others are doing, but they're not eating dumplings right now. So. Mm. Let's just uh, have a little bit of a bite and see what is on the inside. Mm. 
Okay, so there's um, meat on the inside. There's also a little bit of soup. No. Oh, it's not too hot. It's okay, actually. I thought that they were gonna be crazy, crazy boiling hot, but this is actually all right. And these are duck, duck-filled dumplings. Mm. Oh wow! Look at that. Wow. That's next level duck here. Yeah. That's really, really good. Really tasty. Wow. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Now it's hot. <laughs> They're so good though, you need to give it a try immediately. Yeah. It's so good. Oh my god. I grab my weapons. Those are some serious dumplings right here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can use my horrible chopstick skills to get myself one of these. So you gotta bite the top off, let the air out, and I then attack so. it. Let the air out, deflate the dumpling. Yep. <laughs> Okay. The dough is nice. So like the actual casing of the dumpling is very um, flavorful, I want to say. It has some of the sauce from the duck in there. Let's give the actual dumpling a shot. Come on. That's next level duck right there. It's next level dumpling, not only next level duck, I feel like it's both. It's an elevated dumpling for sure. That wins first place of any dumpling that I've ever put in my mouth. Even pierogi, like the Russian ones and so oh, yeah. on, and the uh, Polish ones. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. It knocks it clear out of the park. Oh, Jesus, that's a new number one for dumplings. Juicy. Tender, beautifully cooked, very, very well seasoned and like unbelievable, unbelievably flavorful though on the inside of that dumpling. That is next level. You want to give the duck a try as well? Show you guys this, this duck here. Just looking at this, like just this, the way it looks, it's picture perfect. Like, come on, just look at the color of the skin. It's like proper orange. It's insane. That's exactly what I think of when I think of a piece of duck. This is what I'm looking for right here. So, I don't know if I should be trying this with rice, but we're still waiting for our rice. So, let's give it a shot on its own. The meat on its own, see how it is. I said that that was next level duck in the dumpling. This is another level higher. Juicy. Usually duck. It can be like a little bit on the greasier side. This is not greasy. It's just naturally juicy and flavorful. The texture of it is insane. And is it salted or because it says like salted duck or? This is slightly salted. There's not too much salt on it. The skin is salty. Other than that, not too much of a salty taste. It's very, very nice though. It's incredible. I also would like to give it a try. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope our rice is gonna come soon. I kind of feel like I have to wait for the big bites, more or less. I got the beautiful corner piece. Mm. How good is that? Mm. It does have a little bit of like a fatty layer of course directly under the skin. But this is just like duck perfection I want to say. Mm. The skin is the best part. Yeah, I was trying to get just the skin by itself with the fatty goodness. Mm. This is amazing. This is like next level duck. Mm. Sorry. Do you have some bone? Mm. I think it's a piece of cartilage. <laughs> ah, a little bit of cartilage, yeah. It's so good. So, so nice. Wow. Whatever this is as well that's, that it's lying in, I'm not sure what exactly it is, but it is delicious. 
the actual sort of oil or sauce that's there. It's amazing. Mm. I'm not sure what it is though. It's like a caramelly, salty type yeah. of flavor going. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. It has like a sweetness to it. It's almost like a sugar, sugary based sort of a water syrup. I don't even know how to describe it, to be honest. I'm terrible with describing food. Okay. I was worried a little bit that we ordered too much again, the way that we did, we did in Qingdao, but I kind of feel like we might have not ordered enough. Yep. Maybe we should order a little bit more. <laughs> True. By the way, this, this is absolutely delicious. So this is a tangerine soda that's local to Nanjing. It says Nanking Gu Lao, which I think Gu Lao is a district or an area here in Nanjing. It's a deliciously crisp and very flavorful orange soda. Really nice. It's great. This place here in general is fantastic. I have to say the atmosphere is amazing. It's rammed full of locals, which is always the best sign as well. This is spot on. The duck dish, by the way, came out literally with a flame underneath it to keep it warm during the time that you're enjoying the duck. I've never seen this level of detail and what goes into like a dining experience. Especially when it comes to duck, like duck is such a, like, it's very popular as well in Europe to go and get yourself some duck in a restaurant. Typically it will just be served as it is, there on the plate, hot and ready to go. You'll never have that sort of preparation where you have the flame underneath it, keeping it hot, like, almost like you ordered a hot sizzling steak. Shishi. We just got our mi feng, or our rice, so now we can enjoy the rest of this beautiful duck with our rice and we also have this dish here that Naomi is uh, ordered too. What was it? It's like a... It's a smoked sausage with some vegetable. Smoked and sausage the, and vegetable. The wow. server just said as well to rehydrate the duck in the sauce and apparently then it's even better. Wow. I wasn't thinking of that at all. <laughs> That's what that sauce is for. Mm. You have to rehydrate the meat inside of that beautiful sauce and then it makes it more flavorful even than better. it already is. Ooh, oh my and the god, rice look at is that very rice. sticky, it's very glutinous rice. Sticky rice. Mm, that's good. Yeah. It's very fragrant. I, I think they added something to it. Oh, nice. I don't know what though. Yeah, it does. It smells like there's something added to this rice. Mm. It's like a big ball of sticky goodness. Mmm, I'm so excited to have more of this. Oh, Luke is about to try our green beans with the smoked sausage. Have a look, I basically just mixed in some of the sticky rice with this sausage greeny goodness right here. I'm gonna try and get some, but I'm absolutely terrible at grabbing stuff, especially when it comes to rice. I can never get anything on my chopsticks. Why don't you use a spoon? I don't know. Let's try. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll grab I'll use a spoon. Might be easier. <laughs> I'm going to absolutely uh, destroy my name here and use a spoon. Look how good this looks. Next level. It's very good. The greens are like a little bit crunchy and the sausage has like a very strong like smoky flavor to it. This is a fantastic meal if I'm being honest. If this is a true like a true impression as to what Nanjing food is, I very much like it indeed. This is good. 100% and we also by the way ordered two more variations of the pot stickers just there um, one of them is like the Nanjing local speciality and the other one was like a salted duck dumpling as well but like different to the one that we had before so um, we ordered that in addition to it because I mean it's a lot of food but we didn't have anything to eat all day so I kind of feel like we had to try more dishes especially if it's this tasty and uh, the beans with the smoked sausage here and a little bit of the rice. Mm. The beans are nice and squeaky. Mm. Super fresh. This cooked to perfection kind of. And I feel like 
if you add this like brown duck juice to your rice, it would be absolute perfection. It doesn't get any better than that, I feel like. So, yeah. We're waiting for the dumplings and then uh, we're gonna be right back with the first impressions of the Nanjing dumplings. The lovely gentleman on the table beside us just ooh, offered to buy us some drink. We're not really sure what kind of a drink it is, but it may be like a lemon iced tea or maybe something like that. No idea, but we want to say thank you very much if you are watching this video. He's literally sitting <laughs> He's beside right there. us right now. <laughs> Absolute legend. This is the second time that this has happened to us in a restaurant here in oh. China. This year, that was a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time that this has happened to us now uh, in China, so it's amazing. I have no idea what it is, but let's give it a shot. Whoa. What is it? <laughs> what is this? It tastes almost like a lemony, licorice, tea thing. I don't know. <laughs> I can't put a finger on it, but it's actually very delicious. Mm. It is delicious. It's very. It's a very unique flavor. What is it? What is the name of this? Sombeta. Sombeta. Oh, it's good. Tasty. How cheer? How cheer? Sour plum soup. Oh. oh. Oh, nice, thank nice. you so much. Shishi. Shishi. Mm. It's sour plum. That's what I was tasting. It's not licorice. It kind of reminds me of like, um, you know, when, when you're like uh, 12 or 13 years old and you're like hyper on juice, like the uh, unidentified juice that's what it tastes like. It's very nice. True. Though. You can taste a lot of uh, mm. sugar in there. It's good. I think it's natural sugar though from the plums. It's very tasty. And, uh, mm. Oh, we, our got our, we got some have, more dumplings here. Yeah. Our dumplings have secretly arrived. <laughs> oh, more dumplings. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think these are the Legends. typical Nanjing. Oh my god, look at that. Hot stickers. That's a massive dumpling. It's huge. And then these are filled with uh, duck and like sauerkraut, like sour cabbage. It's wow. kind of a situation. Nice one. I don't know, it just sounded like a little bit different. So I wanted to go Something for Something different. This Nanjing food is literally incredible. This thing feels like a like fried type of. It does. Dumpling. It's like a big fried dumpling. Oh, it's good. Oh, look mm. at that. Oh my god. Yeah. It's amazing. Oh. You want to give it a try oh. like this? It's uh, amazing. No, you just bite. Just off bite off it. Okay, cool. Oh. It's huge! Mm. That's so good! It's amazing! You should have ordered uh, these dumplings from the get off. Give me. That, this is the new number one. Ten more plates of those dumplings immediately! Where's the waitress? <laughs> 100 more! <laughs> you have to try these ones too. Oh my god, I am in love with Nanjing food. Food here in Nanjing is top tier. Oh, come here. Come here, dumpling. Okay, I have you. Duck, oh. dumpling again, I think. Mm -hmm. But this one is different, I'm not sure it's... Sour well, cabbage. sour cabbage and duck. Okay. I kind of imagine it to be like a pierogi. Kind of like a pierogi, yeah, like a Polish, a Polish dumpling. It seems to be very hot. You don't want Ooh. to burn your mouth in this mm. video. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That tastes almost European. So it's filled with duck and sour cabbage. That mm. is delightful. Very, very hot. It does taste European though. Oh. Should I now burn my mouth as well? Sure. <laughs> Let's burn sure our mouth no mouths collectively. It's hot. <laughs> I think the cabbage is the thing that makes it hot because the, the vegetable heats up 
to like a different level. It's so hot. <laughs> mm. That's nice. It's very good. What's your favorite so far? 100% this Nanjing hot sticker. So good. So the duck good. as well. Unbelievable. To be fair, like everything here is amazing, but if I was to come again, I would probably just order 10 Nanjing pot stickers. Yeah, these ones here. They're so freaking good. Also, the rice, by the way, this is some of the best rice that I've ever had. And this sour plum drink, 10 out of 10, really. This one here is quite delicious as well. Very heavy on the greens, but it's very, very tasty. I kind of felt like I had to balance it out a little bit, not only <laughs> eat meat and dumplings. Wow. What an incredible meal that was. Absolutely devoured everything. And yeah, very, very happy. To the amazing local, or I think maybe it's not a local, but someone recommended this to us. One of our followers over on our Instagram recommended this restaurant to us. Thank you very much for that recommendation. If you're not already following us on Instagram, make sure to do that because you're gonna get like a lot of real-time updates as to where we are. And you can actually talk to us directly through the messenger. So send us a message if you wanna ask us a question, if you wanna give us a recommendation, give us a follow on Instagram, it's right here. But this meal, fantastic the duck nanjing duck unbelievable the du no duck makes it out alive from nanjing Aww. i think there's must be a duck genocide happening in nanjing and these pot stickers or the dumplings in general these ones in particular unbelievable everything actually was fantastic and also the sour plum juice we're slowly working our way through that but to be honest so unbelievably full right now I'm ready to go home and have a nice sleep. And tomorrow, we're heading on to another province in another city once again. This is a fast paced trip here this time in China. We're trying to cover as much ground as possible. But yeah, this meal is fantastic. It's always the case though, when we come to China with like a relatively short visa, you're trying to see as much as possible. So we're just basically zooming through the provinces. <laughs> you guys, I am in absolute sh shock. I don't even know how to say this, I'm shook. I, I'm using the word shook for the first time actually. Um, we just paid and it was 108 RMB for that amount of money, uh, for that amount of food, sorry, I'm so shocked I can't even speak anymore. For that amount of food that we just ate, it's absolutely insanely affordable. We paid 13 euro and 80 cents for like three, like in, in, in total, I believe nine dumplings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at the fishies. Hello, fishy, fishy. Wow. What are these? These are, oh, these are like, uh, the weird clams, no? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not saying weird. I just have never seen them before. I'm not judging any type of food. Any hoozles, uh, we paid 108 RMB for that amount of food, which is absolutely insane. And uh, for that quality of food as well, we had the majority of our food was actually meat-based and not plant-based. Only the one little bean and smoked sausage dish that I had ordered was more or less plant-based, but there was a sausage in there as well. So yeah. I can't even tell you what I'm thinking right now. I'm completely like positively speechless and at 100%. Oh, that looks Ooh. nice. <laughs> Very nice. He was I had no idea what was going on. He <laughs> was, was like. There was some pork belly on that tray that looked really nice and smelled really nice. Yeah. And even, we're not hungry anymore. <laughs> don't, don't even worry about it. The waitress was actually really, nice, really cute. She was like, have you eaten enough? at the end of our uh, meal and uh, yes we have eaten enough yes, we have we are very very full <laughs> that was an unfortunate angle yep. <laughs> and uh, we're super happy and in shock about the Insane. little amount of money that we paid the value that you get here for the quality of food that you're having is just out of this world 
one of the best meals so far in China, I think. And um, definitely highly recommend you, if you are a Westerner watching this, check out this restaurant because it's a nice introduction to Nanjing food. And uh, do as the Romans do, as they say. And try the local food wherever you go. That's what we like doing the most. But, as I said, on to a new city tomorrow. Just one last bit of information before we leave. Uh, this place is, by the way, located in a little mall on Friendship Square in Nanjing. Friendship Square It's in a Nanjing. chain, though, so like you can have that food in several different places, but the specific location where we were is Friendship Square. Yes. What? For now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. For the Two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. See you guys in the next China adventure. Cheers for watching. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye.